So Toxic is the brand name that we've associated with our performance cards in the past and this is what we've applied to this product um, for the global market and this is the type of packaging that you'll see in store. We also do a light retail package which is a smaller box. So as you can see the card that's using our new technology um, is very much thinner than the traditional solution and is also significantly lighter allowing us to make provision for people to use multiple cards in, in their PC uh, and have good airflow around them. The whole system is really more efficient than the conventional cooler. The, the fan can be quieter, the airflow can be more steady. Um, you don't have the traditional sort of rise and fall of the sound of the fan that you get with some control systems. The whole thing uh, operates at a much lower temperature, yes. is in how Sapphire's latest Vaporex technology is able to pull the heat out of the chip cooler and quieter than the reference cooler. To see how this is done, let's take a quick trip to the kitchen. The gas hob in the kitchen is representing the GPU. Don't worry, normal graphic chips run at less than 100 degrees. While that heats up, let's have a quick look at the schematic for Sapphire's vapor chamber. At its simplest level, heat is being drawn away from the graphics processor through a copper plate. That plate then gives up its heat to the coolant on the other side. The coolant evaporates and then moves away from the hot surface. The real heat transfer kicks in once it touches the plate on the other side. The fan is designed to ensure that constant airflow on the other side of the plate enhances condensation. This frying pan gives you a good idea of how the cycle works. You can see the liquid boiling up, hitting the cold glass top, recondensing and then going back down to the pan surface. The vapour chamber itself sits inside this casting directly over the graphics processor chip. If I flip the board over, um, you can probably see where it would be located, more or less in the middle of the board, with the memory chip surrounding it. So when we fit the module on, the core of the vapour chamber is directly over the ASIC itself, and the rest of the moulding and casting is helping to act as a heat spreader across the memories. Well, these are the voltage regulators which you find on all high-end graphics cards and that just aids a little bit of cooling for those as well. So the airflow continues across the back of the card and across the voltage regulator module. And this will be globally available from uh, CBIT 2008. I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and you're watching Hexus TV.